Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, uh, my username is Pagan Beauty, and I do monthly subscription unboxing videos. And uh, I generally go over skincare and beauty. So this, today, we're going over the Lip Monthly subscription for August. Now, the Lip Monthly is a monthly subscription for $12.95 and it offers about in between 40 to 80 dollars in products and it's four full-size products now lip monthly also sends regular makeup products so as which is kind of disappointing to me i was really looking forward to this as just a lip product thing because i really need to focus on my lips i don't like stuff having stuff on my lips so i never went into doing the uh lip liner or anything like that so i never learned how to do it so this is a recent thing for me that I have recently started learning how to do. Uh, just kind of like doing the wings and learning slowly by watching lots of YouTube videos and, and practice. So either way, even with the extra stuff in it, I'm always, this is my second bag with them and I'm pretty happy about it. Um, now this month they sent, oh, they do come with a little card and it says, talks about some of the products that you get. You can see there, it's talking about three of the products they sent. And that's what the card looks like. So, and this is the bag that they sent this month. This is Lip Monthly on it. Just a cute little change bag, which is what I use my other one for. I also have one for in my car to put my hand lotion and my sanitizer and stuff like that in it to keep it all together. But... Uh, so I guess this is my third month. Hey, keep a track. Um, now the first product that we came into with this one is the Cargo Lip Gloss. Now it is sixteen dollars, and it is full size. Oh my goodness! And it is Barbie doll pink. Barbie doll pink. Now <laughs> I've already given this to my three-year-old. A sixteen-dollar lip gloss for my three-year-old unfortunately it's just too pink for me even with it being a sheer uh, they call it a lip gloss in the shade angela and it comes in four different colors i do wish they'd sent me any of the other ones but uh, it is a high shine lip gloss so check out that color That's some pigment right there It's a little bit goopy. It definitely doesn't go on like an oil. I love my oils. Because I can put on lip liner and then just a dot of that oil and then all of a sudden I've got perfect lips. With the lip liner still there and the color all in my lips, it's great. So, it definitely feels very lip glossy and I'm not going to be able to handle it. I personally cannot stand anything on my lips, so whenever I do lipstick, I really look for stuff that has almost no feel. I really like the lip paints and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, lip glosses are great. I rarely get chapped lips, and when I do, I almost just always just burr through it. <laughs> so, which I know is not great. Like I said, I'm working on it. It's supposed to have a little bit of moisturizer in it, is what the website said. Which I don't know whether or not I noticed any of that. I did wipe it right off. It says that it has vitamin E and jojoba oil, which increases moisture and decreases furrows around the outside of your mouth, which is very interesting. I guess maybe it has an oil, the, maybe the jojoba uh, get, somehow gets around your mouth and helps with that. Um, said that you can find it on Amazon for 16 bucks. The next product is the Estate uh, Lip Eye Sink in the shade Wet. That's what it looks like, and it's a full size as well. I do believe all the products that come in this bag are full size, since it only comes with four. I like this one a little bit more. It's a, still a very pink color, but at least I could possibly wear it. It definitely goes on a lot smoother than the other one. And for having the name Lip Icing, ah, told you I was new. It's not as shiny as the other one. Like it's, the other one has a super shiny look. 
and this is definitely more of a like a almost a lip paint it does have a, like a glossy feel to it but it's not nearly as bad as the other one the other one felt like you know the actual Barbie doll girls that just coat on all the lips lip gloss and they, they just this like whenever they open their mouth it strings kind of stuff that's how the other one felt but this one's not bad it says that it is a sheer frosted glaze also said it has a good smell which I don't really maybe a little bit of a candy smell I don't know could not find an ingredients list on it which maybe I just missed it but that, there's been some products that I wasn't able to find an ingredients list and that always bugs me because you would think that a makeup ingredient would just post it whenever it was being sold but I could not find one the usual ways that I do it um, it does say that it is paraben and cruelty 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 yeah I guess so uh, free and that it's vegan which is awesome um, now the site sells it for ten dollars Amazon sells it for 15 maybe you get a discount on the site I'm not quite sure um, the card says 20 so I have no idea it does come in five shades though uh, still pretty happy with it now the next thing we've got is an eyeshadow and it's by Hikari which I've gotten several Hikari shades before. I've always been reasonably happy with them. Um, no, my other one was Orza. So, this one, let's see. It goes for, on the site, it says $17. On the card, it says $15. So, <coughs> not quite sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Exactly what's going on with the price differences on this. I've seen some boxes try to boost the price and I've seen some boxes not boost it for some reason like if they the, they offer to sell for it if you bought them through them and I'm having the worst time getting this open I think I opened it from the wrong side luckily I won't be using this box after this video so yep open it from the right side comes out with like a little sleeve around it and that's what it looks like now this has been complaint. There have been complaints about uh, not being able to open up containers by this company, and I've gotten some eyeshadows from them before that were kind of flip open, and there were complaints about them breaking or you digging your nail into them. And so I'm happy that they went with this thing. It is almost impossible to open it though. It's like it's it's got a little plastic thing in it, and I'm wondering if that's why it becomes it, it's just it does not open smoothly. Goodness, look at that blue. I just don't know if I could ever pull that off. Whenever you swatch it, it is the most mermaid iridescent. I was hoping it would work well on this white thing. Look at that. See, my skin just doesn't do swatches very well, but goodness, that is some blue mermaid scale color level of stuff. It is a cream color, so it does build up really well the next swoosh but yeah it is super super blue um let's see it's a full-size product uh, they each come in the one individual shade there are 21 options uh, let's see the site puts it at 17 I think I already said this card puts it at 15 um, this shade is glam and let's see it says it use a base or add as a highlight to the eye so you could just rub it all over before you put on the rest of your eye color or you could use it as a highlight to addition to your own eye I did watch a tutorial on how you could use a liner brush and a little bit of um, you'll put the primer along the line of your eyeliner and then you'll take the liner brush and you just dot it onto the primer and kind of pat it in and it creates this perfect shimmer line so I might end up trying to do, to do that I did watch a video with Bailey Sarian, who is one of my favorite YouTube people. She does Murder Makeup Mystery Mondays, and it's where she tells uh, true crime stories while she does her makeup. And I love those shows. Um, I learned that from Robert Welsh, who does a branch of that, which is Ghost Story Mondays. And I, I love watching both of them, both for the makeup and for their stories. Um, she did this with her Easy Vamp Grunge Makeup Tutorial. So you can look that up if you want to see how she used it. Um, let's see, the next thing we got, 
is not something that I'm super happy about. So I've gotten this in another box. It is called the Clio Nior Twist Up Eyeliner. Now, in my previous review, I made comments about how I could not find any information on this. There is a site to buy stuff from. There is barely any information on it. There is a Facebook page that is from like four or five years ago and it looks home done. There is uh, no ingredients list. There is no place of origin. There is nothing like that at all. I did learn something new this time. Clio is the company. So Nior means black in French. Did not know that. Learned, learned a word in French. But so Clio, the company itself, has a little bit more background. It's just this pen alone has nada. So like I said, second time I've gotten this. Um, I'm going to give it to a friend because I've got a brand new one right there. So I really, I need to get more subscribers so I can start doing a giveaway. But yep, yeah, that is my lip monthly. So we'll go over everything we got and we'll say exactly how much we got in the box. Uh, like I said, I go based off of the actual prices that I can, gen I generally go off the lowest prices that I can find. So we've got the Cargo Barbie Doll Pink. Uh, lip gloss for $16. We've got the State Lip Icing for $20. We have the Hikari Cream Eye Shadow for $15. And the Clio Nior for $8.99. And uh, that's on eBay, by the way. And I hate buying makeup off eBay. eBay. I couldn't really find a place to buy this other than that. Um, the total of this comes to $59.95, which is not bad. Uh, since the box is only $12.95. So that's it. I'm still happy with it, even with the product that I don't like. Uh, everything else it will be usable. And if I can't use it, I'll give it to somebody that can use it. So that's always great. Uh, like I said, I like Lip Monthly. I'm going to keep doing it. I uh, look forward to getting more lip products in. Definitely trying to build up my collection in that area. So for me, it's never really a loss. $12.99, even the $20 lip icing is worth more than that. So. Uh, before you head on to the next video, please be sure to like, uh, comment if you got anything that I got or if you know something about it that I don't know. It is definitely an adventure and I'm trying to learn, so any information would be uh, greatly appreciated. Also, please subscribe. I do a lot of unboxing videos and I'm trying to build up more subscribers and the more I get, the more likely that I can do a giveaway and give something away to other people and maybe help out other people that are interested in the same stuff that I am besides just giving it to my friends. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video, which will be the Allure Beauty Box. And I hope you have a great night. See you next time.